Alright, this is my Warmind Cell build for Warlocks, updated for the Season of the Hunt. It is similar to the one I made last season, but due to updates Bungie made, some mods have been shuffled around or removed. But despite that, the damage output is still absolutely bonkers. I used this to solo my way through the 1250 Legendary Lost Sectors, even though I was 1240 at the time. To start things off for the weapons, there is the 7th Seraph Officer Revolver with timed payload. The revolver has a chance to create warmind cells on kills, and time payload means that when we're floating in the air, we only have to hit close to warmind cells to detonate them. Next we have the Ikelos SMG version 1.0.2, which can also create warmind cells with kills. The two important perks to have on this weapon are the Seraph Rounds and Disruption Break. Seraph Rounds ricochet off of hard surfaces and overpenetrate through a lot of barriers. Disruption Break makes enemies whose shields were broken by that weapon take 50% more kinetic damage by you and your allies. And finally for the weapons is the Sleeper Simulant Linear Fusion Rifle. Its exotic perk, Sleeping Beauty, overpenetrates targets and ricochets off of hard surfaces, splitting the projectile into more projectiles that overpenetrate. Do not fire this thing inside of a Titan bubble, it will destroy your fire team. Unfortunately, even though it is a gift from Rasputin, it will not create war mine cells. On the helmet, we have Global Reach, which allows our Warmind Cells to explode farther, along with Ashes to Assets that gives us bonus energy on grenade kills. Enhanced Ashes to Assets was removed with Beyond Light, so we can no longer get our super back in under a minute just from grenades, but regular Ashes to Assets does provide a nice pleasant boost to super generation. The Sunbracer Gauntlets are one of the two things in this build that makes it just absolutely run beautifully. They come with the perk Helium Spiral, which extends the duration of solar grenades, and getting a solar melee kill gives unlimited grenade energy for a brief time. One of the really nice updates that came with Beyond Light is the ability to put combat style mods on exotic armor, so I put on Fireteam Medic. Creates a burst of healing for you and your allies when you destroy a Warmind Cell. Then there are the Champion mods, Unstoppable Rounds for the Hand Cannon, and Anti-Barrier for the SMG. The Disruption Break perk on the SMG actually works in conjunction with Anti-Barrier Rounds. If you break the Barrier Champion's Barrier with it, the Champion will take 50% more kinetic damage from you and your allies. The Robes have the Rage of the Warmind mod, which adds additional solar damage to exploding Warmind cells, along with Linear Fusion Reserves, which allows us to carry even more Sleeper Simulant ammunition. Next, we have the burning cells on the leg armor. This makes Warmind cells explode with solar damage and applies burn effects to everything it hits. We also have Innervation that gives grenade energy every time we pick up an orb of light. And finally for the armor mods, we have the linchpin for the entire build, Wrath of Rasputin. Solar splash damage final blows have a chance to create Warmind cells. If you run this with Top Tree Dawnblade, everything you do has solar splash damage. The melee has solar splash damage, the solar grenades are comprised entirely of solar splash damage, and even the swords that the super throws out have solar splash damage. Even the solar splash damage from warmind cells have a chance to make warmind cells. Then we've got thermal overload from the artifact that makes our solar grenades stagger overload champions. As if we didn't have enough ways to gain grenade energy, there's the perk bomber that reduces grenade cooldown every time we use our class ability. Now, the ideal way that this works is that when you walk into a room, melee a smaller enemy to get your unlimited solar grenades, then proceed to play Flora's Lava with all the enemies in the room. If you're running Top Tree Dawnblade, getting kills while in the air gives you melee energy, so potentially, you can jump up in the air, get the Sunbracer's unlimited solar grenades going twice before you ever touch the ground again. Then, when you have some Warmind Cells laying about, shoot them to do massive damage in a large area. And you do have to shoot them with a weapon. Abilities do not trigger Warmind Cells to explode, as that would be absolutely broken, especially with this build. Now normally, I get really annoyed when allies shoot my Warmind Cells if they themselves are not running Warmind Cell mods on their armor. Warmind Cells only take the perks of the person who destroys them, so if somebody else destroys the cells that you create, they will only explode normally and not with your super big solar explosion. But, with this setup, I was creating so many cells that I was asking my allies to please shoot the cells, just so they could get a little extra DPS from them. And that is my Warmind Cell build for Warlocks. When it gets going, it really gets going. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.